face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what's up guys and welcome to actually my last video covering Pokemon Sun and Moon. And this is going to focus of course of all the new items, or actually not all of them, just the viable one and of course the meta. Because of all the 70 items that was actually prepared to cover, I thought this is going to be a lengthy video. Well, 19 of those, or 18, is of course the Seal Valley's forms, and uh, 30 of the others are actually sea moves, which mainly became that, alright, we have a few select ones that could be at least worth talking about that are definitely different from previous generations. So not the biggest introduction this time, and also Incineroar didn't look as nice as I was hoping for in that picture, but hey, I'll do my best. Having that said, we're gonna go of course, like I said, viable items in the meta, and uh, I come up with at least 7 of them that I think are of course interesting. And if you want to see the complete list of new items, make sure to check out the link down below if you want to check that out yourself. There are a few items there that are unique, but definitely not interested for, of course, the meta. So having that said, we're going to go over, of course, Adrenaline, or which actually a new item that increases your speed in case you are intimidated. Which could be interesting for the likes of, oh, I don't know, take for example, um, oh, what do you call him, Bishop, who probably used this one pretty darn well. And just overall, since there are so many Intimidators in the meta, it's kinda nice seeing that there are an orb here which actually exchanges that, and defensive Pokemon or special attacking one could probably use it to their best of their abilities. And um, yeah, I like it, I think it's, it's an appropriate move. Uh, it also goes if you wanna try to defensively outmaneuver someone with Intimidating Minds such as Landris, and you have for example a Heracross. It goes for Sword Stance, they try to shut you down, well you get the speed retreats making you faster, very interesting, I think it's definitely going to be, well, worth using at least. Then we have the Train Extender, which is a super important one. Much like, of course, Damp Rock and stuff like that. These in trees, of course, with three turns um, extra for your terrain move. And it's not specific, it's all the terrain moves basically, which means that you can have a terrain setter uh, and having this in mind, and it would probably help you out. And um, yeah, since terrain move seems to be what you're going with as a, I guess you say, a meta changer. It's great to see that at least this get you know a chance to be usable because terrain move is the forward move here for you know weather war that has been going on and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing this definitely an interesting item and a very very important one since it actually increases the viability of the terrain move overall. Then we have the protective pads um, and, and I like this one. I'm I'm not really going to uh, use it myself. I'm pretty sure about that. The protective pads basically make sure that any contact moves such as iron barbs, a rocky helmet, or rough skin do not give you residual damage. So it could be viable for the likes of Shedinja maybe, and or if you have of course a Pokemon that you know are weak to, uh, or have a focus dash basically that you could utilize that well. I think it's a good option. Um, there are actually, I do believe, one more of those defensive kind of moves uh, that um, Toxic Pack, I do believe, learned that. Um, it's basically a spike shield, but you get poisoned if you attack it. So it's good seeing that this is actually something going on, and uh, protective pads could definitely, I can definitely see it being, you know, relevant in the future. So there are a few Pokemon that can benefit from it, and it's an interesting item to say the least. So I'm not disappointed by it, just a bit surprised that it actually came about. I um, definitely wasn't expecting it to say the least. And then we have actually a new kind of items called the seeds, in our, or terrain seeds. These are basically uh, an auto kind of boost when a terrain is up. Such, of course, electric chain seed will actually boost your defenses. Psychic seed will boost your special defense. Misty seed will boost your special defense. And grass seed will boost your defenses. Um, all these relevant, interesting, and uh, while they're passive defensive boosts, it still could be good for the ones that might be a bit more fragile. Uh, one thing that kind of scares me are... Um, Anything that has with Reuniclus do it basically. Because if Reuniclus can come in with Psychic Seed with the environment or with a Psychic Seed, puts a special defense, then we have another kind of nightmare on ahead of us. Now, granted, Regenerator or Magic Card and Life Orb is to be preferred, but seeing that these are defensive plays that could be utilized is kind of nice. Uh, it's hard seeing a few of these mons actually getting stopped by it, and I have out to 50% you know, boost your defensive stats are. Um, well, if there are by default, then it's kind of dangerous. I'm glad at least they went for defensive moves and not 
any kind of special attack race or speed race because then things might have been a bit more troublesome. Uh, but having that said, it's not really too much going to play this very, very self-explanatory, so definitely looking forward to these kind of seeds and see how they are utilized. It's not my cup of tea, but I can definitely see a lot of these plays being implemented well with this in mind. Since, like I said, terrain moves probably is the future for the meta, at least for this generation to come in, and probably more focus on VGC than singles, clearly. But those are all the viable items I could find for this. Um, it, like I said, it's not the longest list here, and it's because, well, there weren't really that many things to be introduced. Um, we have Ice Rock, which is a um, new elemental rock if you want to evolve the Nine Tails and Sand Slash. But that's about it. It um, was definitely a shorter list, and I definitely was expecting more from this, so sorry if the list is so short. It's just these are probably the only ones worth mentioning when it comes to the list. And of course, the list is down below if you want to check it out yourself. I want to kind of spoil yourself, of course, of the possible Alolan form attack, which I won't talk about too much. I do believe everything is introduced already, uh, but if you miss that out, then that is your golden opportunity to check that out yourself. So, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, yeah. I will see you once Sun and Moon is out. Until then, guys, take care.